Social media gave everyone a voice. Wouldn't it be better if some people had laryngitis? It's the wisdom of Twitter. The most amazing tweets of the week. Twitter handles have been changed to protect the stupid. On Rock 107. Isn't that what it's called? Says my New Year's revolution. No smoking. Heading to Pocono asks, what does it mean to start your engines? I need to know. The wisdom of Twitter. Really needs the help, asks, how do you give a woman an organism? How do you spell it? 570 writes, I think I have eggs math up. The wisdom of Twitter. Filler up 92 says, nothing like five bucks a gallon for gas. This is ass of nine. And could be fun 96 asks, my boyfriend says he eats meat. Should I keep dating this carnival? The wisdom of Twitter. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. Extreme heat can cause diarrhea. So maybe stay inside the next few days and definitely avoid that lunch from Taco Bell. Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson were seen paddleboarding in Croatia. I can't confirm this and I wouldn't want to speculate, but there's a rumor going around that cannabis was involved. ESPN just published their preseason NFL ranking of top 10 quarterbacks. So move along, Mitch Trubisky. Nothing to see here. Prospector ruins everything, even the news. Tune in tomorrow for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. Truly awkward and a little hot-headed, Prospector gets himself into a lot of weird situations and doesn't always handle himself well. This guy is really a jerk. Please help him learn from his mistakes. It's time for Am I a Jerk on Rock 107. Am I a jerk? I do all the ironing at the cost of the prospector. Now, my wife knows how to iron, but she just always asks me to do it. Always. I'm getting tired of coming home to a pile of clothes on the ironing board and her constant request to iron something. So, the other day, I purposely left an iron mark on one of her shirts. Not a good shirt. Not her favorite shirt. But one she still wears and she'll notice it and hopefully not ask me to do the ironing ever again so i ask you does that make me a jerk what do you think rachel says yeah why would you destroy her clothing you should have just told her you didn't want to do it so you're a jerk out of the rock lines len in sweet valley am i a jerk yeah it makes you a jerk either man up and iron or man up and tell her that you don't want to <laughs> none of this <laughs> passive aggressive crap just say what's on your mind is that what you're telling me yep <laughs> there you go. Len says, I'm definitely a jerk. Bill says, you're not a jerk. You're a genius. She'll get the hint. Angie says, wow, what a passive-aggressive baby. You're definitely a jerk. Starting to lean against me here. Let's head to the Rock Lines. Rock 107, am I a jerk? Yeah, prospector. Definitely, you got to be a jerk on this one. <laughs> this is a jerk move, huh? Oh, absolutely. Only one question. Who does the cooking? Uh, Well, mostly her. Well... I want to trust any pork that she makes anymore after that. <laughs> That's a good point. Mike says, how would you like it if she ruined your clothes in the wash or something, you jerk? And Cooper says, yeah, absolutely a jerk. You're married. You should be talking about this stuff to one another, communicating. Am I a jerk for it purposely leaving a iron mark on my wife's shirt so I wouldn't have to iron again? Rock 107. No, you are not a jerk. Do you want to know why? I want to know why. Because if you asked her to go pick you up a six-pack of beer, and she came back with a cheaper version, oh, because it was on sale, of her way of getting out, picking up beer for you. So, no, you're not a jerk. All right, she's with me, although the logic's a little sketchy. Christine says, oh, my God, yes, Prospector, you're a huge jerk. I'm sure your wife does plenty of things she doesn't love doing, but she does them because she loves you. You're petty. You're a jerk. And the question today of, am I a jerk for purposely leaving an iron mark on one of my wife's shirts so she'll never ask me to iron again? The answer is, overwhelmingly, yes, I'm a jerk. Has announced a new line of selfie series toys that makes you into your very own action figure. They've partnered with the 3D printer company Form Labs to produce your own personalized action figure for the reasonable price, I guess, of $59.99. I'm only getting one if it's anatomically correct. Scratch that. I'm only getting one if it's better than anatomically correct. An action figure of you. Just what America needs right now. Look in the mirror. It's a selfie of me. It's narcissistic. It's super ego. 
It's the Hasbro Selfie Series that makes you into your own action figure. That's right, the me generation just got a little more self-absorbed. Who needs Wonder Woman and Supergirl when I've got me? Put down the selfie stick and pick up a 3D action figure of yourself that looks even more plastic than your filtered Instagram photos. The Hasbro Super Ego Selfie Series action figures. Because I love playing with myself. Get yours today. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. A McDonald's franchise owner in Ohio had to close for three months to renovate the building, but he never stopped paying his employees. He started out as a part-time worker there 60 years ago and worked his way up till he owned the place. He says he knows a lot of his employees live paycheck to paycheck, so keeping them on payroll wasn't a hard decision. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. It's time to have a little fun on the phones. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. And on this uh, Tuesday morning, we're going to be calling a travel agency. And we're going to be asking for a very specific destination that does not exist. Uh, we're going to be asking to go to Cheddar Bay, like the biscuits at that wonderful seafood place. Uh, we're going to call a, a travel agency and see if they can get us there. It's time for another Prospector prank call on Rock 107. Thank you for calling Travel. This is Andy. Yeah, uh, Andy, uh, I, I need your help. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to book a trip, and, and I've been on all the travel websites, no offense, but I cannot find this destination, so I really need your help. Yeah, where were you um, looking to head to? Well, last night I was at a restaurant with some friends, and we were eating, and they brought out the most delicious biscuits. And I said to the waitress, Where'd you get those? And she said, oh, they're our Cheddar Bay biscuits? Yeah, we make them here, and they're part of our restaurant. And I'm like, oh, my God, I've got to go to this place because if their food is like that, amazing. Have you ever had the Cheddar Bay biscuits? Yeah, Red Lobster, right? I, I guess that's where it was. It was a seafood restaurant. It had a lot of red. So, yeah, well, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, red okay. Lobster, yeah, Red Lobster. They're um, famous for their Cheddar Bay biscuits. Yeah, and I, you can see why. They're delicious. I mean, I could have eaten just those. So I was like, hey. Let's go and let's stay at Cheddar Bay and then have the biscuits right there. And I looked all over the travel websites and oh, I can't find it. Okay. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't. Um, Cheddar Bay isn't really a place. Oh, no, it, it is. It is. I asked a waitress last night where she gets them and she says, oh, the Cheddar Bay biscuits. So they're named after Cheddar Bay. Yeah, but. There's no such thing as Cheddar Bay. I mean, there's different bays that I can definitely kind of look into for you, um, but there's no actual Cheddar Bay. I'm well, how does that make sense then? I mean, where would the recipe have come from, right? I don't know. Maybe... Cheddar Bay. Okay. Um, so you've never heard of Cheddar Bay other than the biscuit anyway, right? You never booked a trip for anybody? It doesn't exist? No, I haven't. I mean, at Chesapeake Bay, but never uh, a Cheddar Bay, unfortunately. Uh, Chesapeake Bay? I don't want to go. Does their food taste like that? I believe so. I personally haven't gone there, but I could. I mean, to, to be your... honest, if you don't know, like, I just want to stick to finding Cheddar Bay and just stay there. We could stay in one of those air bed and breakfasts. Uh, that's fine. Or a hotel or whatever. You mean an, an Airbnb or, or a B&B? Is that what they call it? Yeah. Well, an air bed and breakfast. Sure. Yeah. Wait, there's, okay. They're two separate things. Oh, God. All right, look, here's what I want to do. I want to stay in a nice, quaint place right on the Cheddar Bay where they make the biscuits. I can picture my wife and I getting up in the morning, getting some of those biscuits, going for a nice walk around Cheddar I Bay. Can, That's what I'm looking to do. I can look for something and maybe like Chesapeake or, or okay, well, some different... Okay, well, I don't know if they... I've never heard of Chesapeake Bay Biscuits. Is there any way maybe we could call like the restaurant and ask them where Cheddar Bay is? And maybe you could try to help uh, me there and book the trip um, from there. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to call Red Lobster. Why is that? Um, because there's no such thing as Cheddar Bay. Cheddar How Bay do you know that? How, how do you know that? You just um, don't know. I'm, I'm right. We don't know that. Agent. You and I both don't know that they're where Cheddar Bay is now. So know, somebody I'm, made a delicious biscuit and they made up and said, let's just call it Cheddar Bay Biscuits. That's ridiculous. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the cheesy goodness, but. I don't. Oh, no oh, okay, okay. So you're bay. joking now. It's a big, 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 ridiculous prank call. Are you pranking me? Excuse me. Are you pranking me? No. Are you pranking me? Actually, yes, I am. This is a prank call, Andy. <laughs> what? No. You're on Rock 107 right now. It's a prospector prank call. <laughs> Stop. I was like, with Cheddar Bay. Who asked? Cheddar Bay. Look, you got to admit, those are great biscuits, though, right? Come on. There should they be are. Cheddar Bay. Absolutely. <laughs> I would have gone myself already. <laughs> exactly who he means. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector.
Yeah. Ever since Eddie Van Halen passed away, there's been talk of putting together a Van Halen tribute show featuring surviving members of the bands with a ton of guest musicians. But in a new interview, Wolfgang Van Halen says that it hasn't happened yet because there are, quote, some people that make it very difficult to do anything when it comes to Van Halen, end quote. He added, quote, from my time in Van Halen, there's always some stuff that gets in the way of just making music and having a good time. And I think that's what happened. Wolfie didn't want to name names, so the interviewer asked him if the problem was coming from, quote, a certain singer with three initials, meaning David Lee Roth. He said, quote, do your research on the history of Van Halen and come to your own conclusions. Yeah, I think we all just did. Come on, Dave, make it happen. What's a yam bag? A fool, an idiot, a blockhead, a dunce, or an ignoramus. You know, a dullard, simpleton, or a clot, nitwit, dipstick, pea brain, mouth breather, or cretin. It's now time to announce the winner of Prospector's Jam Bag of the Day, as decided by you at rock107.com. Here are the nominees. Nominee number one. This guy proved chivalry isn't dead. Unfortunately, he also proved he's a psycho. A 25-year-old guy named Joshua Murray was at a family dollar store near New Haven, Connecticut on Saturday when two women walked in. So he held the door for them, which was nice, but he didn't get a thank you. So he pulled a gun. He pointed it at them, but didn't fire any shots so no one was hurt. Cops tracked him down a half mile away. He was arrested for breach of peace and resisting arrest. He also didn't have a permit for the gun, so they tacked down a charge for carrying a pistol without a permit, which is a felony. Nominee number two. This isn't what 911 is for. It's what Instacart is for. A 37-year-old guy named St. Petersburg, Florida called 911 Saturday night and asked them to bring his girlfriend some candy, specifically Sour Patch Kids. Cops showed up to his place and described him as heavily intoxicated. It's not clear if it was a prank call or not, but when they asked why he called 911, he just smiled and walked away. They arrested him for misusing 911 and he resisted, so they had to tase him to get him into cuffs. He was released on bail Sunday afternoon, but isn't allowed to drink right now and has to wear an alcohol monitoring device. He also was arrested in November for shoving his girlfriend and knocking her phone out of her hand. It's not clear if it's the same woman who wanted the Sour Patch Kids. And the winner is... The guy who pulled a gun when two women didn't thank him for holding a door. Hey, you were trying to be nice, but then you messed it all up. You are the yam bag of the day. And we'll move on to Friday's Yam Bag of the Week competition. Keep it here for all the nominees for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Day. Weekday mornings on Rock 107.